Guys, um, today I'm going to show you a tutorial, well, try to show you a tutorial on how to get Serato DJ 1.1.1. .1 um, I've just downloaded it off this website here. Uh, the kick ass unblock, it's like um, kick ass torrents if you've ever heard of that. Well, basically, that was blocked quite long ago, um, and there's been absolutely loads of like uh, mirrored, mirrored like websites and stuff. So, this is kick ass unblock, and this. Um, I'll put a link for this in the description as well so you can download it from there. But um, basically I haven't installed this myself yet. This is going to be my very first time installing it. So I hope to God this works. <laughs> um, so yeah. I'm going to try and go to the folder in it. So out of DJ 1.1. .1, and you're going to have these uh, five folders in it. And I click on the instructions in a minute so we can just follow the instructions one by one. Okay, first we want to do is install Serato DJ 1.1 .1 and unzip fake license. Okay, so let's install Serato DJ in it. You want to drag Serato DJ into the Applications folder. And I guess that's basically installed already. You can close that down there. And then what did I say to do next? Uh, unzip fake license file. So you're going to need some kind of unzip thing. I think I got something like a WinRAR extractor or a RAR extractor from the App Store on the, on the Mac or something like that anyway. So yeah, go into the fake license file. Uh, okay, we don't need that for now, but the looks. Oh, okay, we need to uh, extract Serato DJ cracked zip. So there we go. They're both extracted there. Step two, right-click the Serato DJ application to show package contents. Okay, so I'm going to open another Finder window. Go into my applications. And I need to find Serato. There we are. I'm going to click control and then click show package contents. Go to contents, Mac OS, and replace Serato DJ with cracked Serato DJ. Okay, so I'm going to hit control, cop, no, sorry, not control, copy. Control click, copy Serato DJ, and then control paste item. You're going to want to replace that straight away. So there we now we have the cracked version of Serato DJ there, but now we need to try and get the license into it. Now I remember before I struggled with this bit, but I just looked on the comments on that um, website for Kickass Unblock and it showed me how to do it properly, so hopefully it works. Install the license file, license into users, your name, etc, etc. Now I got confused in this bit, so I went on here and I figured out how to do it. Um, what you basically have to do, it was a picture on here and it's showing you where to do it. Um, you need to go on the go bit at the top, the go um, file, whatever it's called. <laughs> Click on go, go to folder. Now I need to copy and paste this by here. So command C, shrink that. Go to this folder here, paste that in there. Hang on, paste that. And you need to change where it says your name just by there. You need to change that to what your computer is called, like mine's called Liam's, I think it is. So you need to change that to that. So press go. And the folder cannot be found. So hang on, let me try Liam. Folder still cannot be found. Uh just a second, let me try and figure out how to do this and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Um basically about ten minutes ago we couldn't uh find that folder, the library folder, and I didn't have a clue why. But I was looking for these comments a bit more. And I found one comment that I thought would work for me. And where was it? I couldn't find Serato license folder at first, but after I opened Serato DJ and closed it, the file appeared, everything went fine, etc. etc. So what I did at first was I opened Serato, so let's just open Serato a minute. Really confusing, the instructions didn't really uh, help me out much. See, I opened it now and it's saying that uh, it's not connected or it's not. I don't have it, like activate by. I don't have it, the full version yet. So just close that in a minute. Apparently, opening it up makes the files like ready or something like that. And I went on here and I was trying to find the library folder because I couldn't find any library folder whatsoever. And that wasn't there before. So what I did to find this, to find my home folder, I went into the finder window, pressed preferences. Went over to the sidebar and clicked my uh, like that was unticked like that. 
So I clicked that and it showed up there. So I'm guessing that's the main reason I couldn't find libraries. Because as soon as I opened that folder, well, I went to applications, there was nothing there, etc. But as soon as I opened that, I tried it again. I went on go, go to folder, press paste on that thing again, and then replace the username with your name of your laptop or Mac or whatever. And licenses come up. I don't know. I don't know how I got it working, but um, seems like it worked fine. So let's carry on with the tutorial now from licenses. Let's get everything back up because I don't know where it's all gone now. Um, so out of DJ. Okay, what we want to do? We wanted to install that license file, didn't we? So. Uh, Where is it? Fake license file. There we go. So out of license, I'm going to press Command and C just to copy that, close that, and I'm going to want to paste it in the licenses file. So close that, and now we can launch so out. So apparently it's going to work. Let's see if it works. So how our DJ is authorized on Liam's MacBook Pro. Brilliant. We got it working completely fine. I'm over the moon because I could not get this working on my Mac Mini before and somehow I've just found out how to do it now. So I'm glad I recorded this as I showed you all because obviously I was learning from my mistakes and you could see where I was going wrong so maybe you can see where you're going wrong now. Anyway, just reminding you this is for the MacBook Pro. I don't know how to do this on Windows. I do not have a Windows computer and I'm soon going to be having more tutorials on everything Mac so make sure you subscribe to me like my videos and favorite it if you will even leave me a comment if you like my video that much and um, yeah if you've got any questions leave pop me a few comments in the comment section so yeah enjoy